a swing wish in the sacred sauce, silver bullet, or magic app that is going to help me punch above my weight. What I mean by that is I play in a lot of leagues in Atlanta area, like T2 Tennis, League Tennis, and Ultimate Tennis. I play at around level 4, which roughly translates to USTA 3.5. I want to see what is the highest level I can reach, taking into consideration my skills, my age, and the time I have for practice. I'm a typical recreational tennis player and I do not like to practice. Nor do I have time to go and get coaching and follow it through. And frankly, coaching at our level, for a lot of us, it's, it's, it's an expensive proposition. And many of us would gladly pay 50 or 70 bucks per hour for our children to take lessons. But when it comes to us, it, sometimes we think that may not be a good investment of our resources and that's natural and it it does add up but not just that even if you take lessons sometimes it's great because it helps you to correct some fatal or some really obvious flaw that you do not recognize so coaching is amazing for those things but for continuous improvement for refinement of skills say increasing the precision of yourself increasing your foot position or making your foot foot moment precise, adding the two extra miles per hour to yourself, or how you perform in matches. Getting all the skills is great, but how does it translate into match situation? So when it comes to that, I'm not sure how much coaching and practice is going to help. And uh, frankly, we didn't have, have anything like that until two, three years ago. If you look at it, professionals had all these things or people used to record the matches using camcorders or something and watch. But an average recreational player, as an average recreational player, we really had nothing. Even seven, eight years ago, I used to record using GoPro-like cameras, but it was such a pain because in reality, if you play tennis for two, two and a half hours, especially at my skill level, you're picking balls for 75% of the time and walking around. So the action, actual action is around 25% of the time. So scrubbing through the video and editing is such a painful thing. But now you have a wonderful app that records through your phone and just out of the gate, it strips out all the dead zones and gives you a cleaned up video, but that's just the beginning. It provides amazing filters to go and watch pretty much any element of your game. And it also tracks your shots, it tracks the ball position and the position from which you hit. Even it actually has uh, even the height of hit also in its data. So, with, and it also using image processing, they're also able to track every shot as whether you hit with your forehand, backhand, volley, overhead, topspin or slice or so many data points and all this is available and you can go and select and watch. For example, you can go and watch for, let's say I just want to watch my first serves that for some reason, let us say I'm hitting the net once in a while. I can actually watch first serves that I missed, you know, I, I think I can miss a watch at the net. So there are filters like that. So this is such a sophisticated app that is available for us for, I think, maybe 15 bucks a month. The pro program and if you buy the all out package, that's about 30 bucks a month for a pro pack for a, what they call a max package, which allows you to record up to 60 hours of video in 4K. So with this, as a person who works in analytics and also as a software engineer, I'm blown away by the capabilities of this. App. The development team has done an amazing job. It's, it's such a small team of developers at Swing Vision. And they've done an amazing job of delivering this app. Now, as a user, I've recorded over 100 matches over two years or so. But I ask myself, even with my background, how much have I used for my own improvement? I've done some things, but I've not done anything systematically or scientifically. Shame on me for being that. So I want to change that. Now, with the experience over time, I believe, I believe this is an app that can not being sponsored or anything. I have no association with Swing Version. I'm just delighted by seeing an app that does so well. I believe that this is an app that can actually help me play half a level above or 
or play comfortably and beat opponents half a level above by just having the right strategy and not necessarily having the skills or the power to play at that level. I mean, I have to be realistic. Even at 4-0 level, I'm barely hanging in there. So at 4-5, I'm going to be struggling big time. I'll be lucky to get a few games at that level. But I want to see, maybe with some strategy, some observation, some in my serve positioning, some observation of my return or serve game, and uh, maybe understanding, comprehending some of my weaknesses, hiding them well, or figuring out some patterns. Uh, can I punch about my weight? And I truly believe. So I'm going to do this in a true data scientist way using some experiments, well-defined well defined experiments. I'm going to be essentially come up with a hypothesis, observe, basically collect data using swing version and see if I can learn something and improve over a fixed period of time. So as a recreational player, again, like I enjoy playing matches. Even when we play with friends, we actually play full games, full sets, and that is so much fun. And the urge to win actually changes us all into very different players. That's why when we take drills, usually we have good strokes and drills, and when you go and play, everything falls apart. Because pretty much when you play a match, every shot is different. No two shots, are, I mean, you really have a back-to-back -back rally like you have a drill. So, but I want to see if there are patterns that I can learn and observe. So I'm going to do three ex three kinds of experiments. Experiment one is actually with practice. I'm going to be using the practice features in Swing Vision, like so practice or a ball machine practice capabilities and see if I can make measured improvements. The second one is I actually play pretty much in every season. Usually you can play tennis in Atlanta for throughout the year, all four seasons. And every season I try to play three or four leagues, two singles and two doubles. So that gives me opportunity to play four matches a week. So I'm going to dedicate every single season for improving two skills and two strategy elements. That's it. Same deal for doubles also. Dedicate for two skills and two strategy elements. And the way I'm going to approach this, I'm going to conscious. And if you read the book by Brad Gilbert called Winning Ugly, he talks about the importance of a point called setup point, which is basically anybody reaching 30. And uh, I don't remember the exact details, but if I recollect right, he says your awareness that when you or your opponent reaches 30 is actually more consequential in winning games than playing a game point. So what I'm going to do is in every game I play, I will experiment until opponent reaches 30. Okay. At that point in time, if I'm ahead, I will still continue experiment. If not, I'm just going to do whatever it takes to win the point. So that's one objective I'm going to have. Let's, and I'm going to see if I'm able to execute it. So what I mean by that? Say, for example, one of my major, major, in fact, the, if you ask me what is my number one weakness today, it is my second serve. Basically, I don't have a second serve. I have a first serve and the third serve is just arming the ball so that it goes in. Now, that is a much better improvement than even a season a year ago when I started missing a lot and I started double faulting a lot and in matches the pressure especially in doubles matches the pressure of not of disappointing an opponent actually compounded it for me but when I was trying normal kick seconds so, so I decided to screw that and started doing just arm balls so I want to change that that worked at 3-5 or so to some extent but now people are eating those balls right at a higher level so I want to change that I want to do proper kicks, but this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be doing that till I reach, till the opponent reaches set up point and is ahead of me. So this is going to be my approach. In match also, I will be following a similar thing. If I'm trying to improve a skill, say if I want to improve my forehand positioning, placement, that's another one of my weaknesses that is I actually overplay my backhand. If if, if I look at my swing version stats, most of my matches, I play a much higher proportion of shots using backhand. I run around and play backhand than forehand. And I want to change it to see if I can play about 70-30 or 75-25 and dominate forehand. So in this way, I'm going to plan, document what I'm planning and see if I'm able to execute and observe through the matches that I record and see if I'm making measured improvement. I think uh, such experiments are impossible without a tool like this. And same goes for service. I mean, once in a while I hit amazing serves, but I don't know what I did. It just feels, feels right. And I think I do the same thing, but either I'm dumping the net or boy, it's sailing. But now I have evidence. I want to see by analyzing swing vision if I can isolate those things. So I'm going to be making a series of videos to see if I can use swing vision 
to systematically improve myself and eventually move up a level and play with higher level players. Now, now I'm, not, I'm going to do this in a purely scientific way as much as possible in a very systematic way and minimize biases as much as possible and see if this is something that will spike the interest of more and more people to use swing vision and hopefully i can teach people how to use swing vision effectively i mean frankly like again going back to my beliefs and i think this is such an underappreciated tool that's out there it's so far ahead of its time that people just do not know. I mean, it's great for video recording and trimming, but honestly, like, I can't even comprehend how underutilized just using it for video is. I mean, it's like giving your son who's a gamer who the most advanced gaming computer and he uses it as a night lamp because it has colorful fans or something like that, right? So the potential of swing vision is far, far more than just looking at yourself in videos. But the puzzle to crack is how to systematically use it. And apart from that, I also see some barriers to usage of swing vision, just the barrier of carrying a stick to record, mounting it, and something that could be coached or something that will become familiar over time. So let's see what happens. If you're interested, in this join me in this journey yeah just keep following do the needful subscribe or get notified whenever i'm trying to i will post videos quite frequently and i will also solicit help from my doubles partners i actually play doubles with uh, four different partners depending on the league i will also get their help to see how we can learn together